Excellent. What's up guys, welcome back to CES 2017 coverage. First, big thanks to my sponsors for this event, Gigabytes, OCZ, a Toshiba company, as well as Deepcool. But uh, we're at Razer right now, and uh, you guys maybe have already seen this. It's Project Valerie, and this is Razer's concept project for a pretty cool game and laptop with a lot of high-end hardware in it and three 4K monitors that are all connected up to it at the same time. Um, the monitors themselves actually are uh, motorized, or they will be motorized in the final version, so all you have to do is probably press a button somewhere, and they'll expand and slide out. They don't fold it or anything, they actually slide out from the sides. That gives you the benefit, of course, of having tons and tons of screen real estate in a portable package, but it also gives you the benefit of having them slide out evenly and being properly spaced, so you don't have to do any adjustments or configuration or that kind of thing, which is very common when you're doing, setting up like a, like a three-monitor desktop display. As far as hardware, right now, it is based on the uh, Razer Blade Pro model, so we can assume it's got a high-end mobile 6th uh, or 7th generation uh, Intel Core processor. The graphics card it's running on right now is a GTX 1080, and this model we're looking at right here is actually a functional prototype, but out in the front, they're so showing off one that's kitted out with a bit more of the finishing touches that they wanted to put on there. So, for example, it has uh, RGB uh, lighting that goes along under each of the monitors that come out on the side. Just a little bit of down-firing lighting because, you know, RGB everything. It's still popular. People still like it. It's also got uh, some vents on the back that uh, open up to vent some, some hot air. I'm not sure whether that's for the monitors themselves or for the hardware inside, but again, they're still working on this and they're probably a ways off from actually bringing anything to market. So they're asking the fans at home to give some feedback. The feedback so far has been incredibly positive and um, there's tons of options for this in the future. So for example, right now it's on a 1080. A 1080 pushing three 4K displays probably not going to be quite enough power. So, you know, maybe they'll do a dual GPU version in the future, or maybe if a 1080 Ti ever launches or an 1100 series card, for example, comes out, they might integrate something like that to give yourself a little bit more power. They could also take this concept, though, and integrate it into a different product. So, if, for example, you have a Razer Blade, a smaller, like a 14-inch laptop. You could take maybe a single screen and pop it on there and just have one slide out to the side for something like productivity. Uh, for people who like to do Twitch streaming, for example, and take a gaming lap laptop on the go and have a secondary screen that's available so you can have your Twitch chat and all that good stuff up on there. Incredibly convenient. And transporting a monitor can be... Uh, pain in the ass, we've had several break on us. And the little portable ones, they're convenience, but it's not gonna line itself up properly for gaming or that kind of thing. Anyway, uh, I think this is a really cool product. Again, it's uh, Project Valkyrie, uh, not Valkyrie, Project Valerie. And uh, we have no idea when it's coming out or anything like that. A couple, uh, or one last thing to note, this entire thing when collapsed, you can still use a single 4K display, so that's an option. And all together right now with the different models of it that they've been working on, it's only coming in about 10 to 12 pounds, which is a little on the heavy side for like an ultra portable, but when you compare it to like a full-size desktop replace replacement laptop, that's about how much they weigh. And this one has two extra 4K screens. So I'm pretty impressed. Let me know if you guys are impressed too. Uh, hit the thumbs up on this video, of course, if you enjoyed it. And big thanks again to my sponsors, Toshiba, Deepcool, as well as Gigabyte. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.